All right, everybody. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. We are in the playoffs for the first time. It's our second season with the Flyers. We traded Claude Giroux to Minnesota. He won a Stanley Cup, came back, and now he's led us to the playoffs as our captain and leading scorer. Will this team be good enough to win in the playoffs? Let's be honest, probably. <laughs> Even with this defense, after having to get rid of Travis Sanheim, it'll probably still somehow be good enough. Because franchise mode is nuts. Franchise mode is ridiculous. And to answer the question, yeah, Patrick Kane was still scratch at the end of the season. Um, yeah, it's it's uh. It's tough, you know? It's tough to just have to deal with franchise the way it is and the way it probably will be for the rest of the year, but hey, we'll do what we can. The Baston Bruins. This is the team that we're up against. Marshawn, Pajot, and Pasternak. DeBrusque, Frederick Smith, Hall, Stashney, Brown, Johansson, Steen, and Coyle. Why are you... It's so bad. They're playing Charlie Coyle on the fourth line. Uh, you could play, I mean, again, it's just they, they brought back Johansson. They brought in Brown, Stash. None of that they need to do, but it's okay. Defense is Riley McAvoy, Grizzly Carlo, Edler, Clifton. Goalie-wise, this is the sway. Uh, and Lena Salmark, Halla, Spence, Zaboral. The scratches. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know who's going to win this. I have no idea who's going to win this. Edler's a, a Bruin. Edler as a Bruin is unholy. You know, you're not you're not entirely wrong. Let's see the ratings. 82, 91, 90. 82, 100 and something else. Again, the ratings break when you uh, when you change stuff as, as do numerous aspects of this game. <laughs> a lot of things break with this game. Let's rock. Game number one. I want to see if we have a cup run ahead of us or if we have a draft sooner than rather than later. Deke Slayer, this is a good video game. It is a phenomenal video game. What a video game it is. First period, game one. We are down two to nothing. Two power play goals. Jake DeBrusque and Brad Marchand. The Marchand. Oof. Oof. Second period, oh god, Carter Hart is just dead. Coyle and Stashney, Couturier makes it 4-1, to 3-1 three to one at the time. Experience Flyers playoff hockey, baby. We're down three goals heading into the third. On the Carter Shart. Got him. Got him. Charlie Coyle makes it 5-1. to one. That's why they're playing him on the fourth line, I guess. 5-1. Let's just, yeah, okay, there we go. It ends 5-1 to one in game one. If who I think took the penalties took the penalties, we're going to have to have a conversation. There were two fights. Huh? I can't even see if somebody fought. How do you end up with fought? I mean, I can't even blame McDermott. Ryan Ellis also ended up with five penalty minutes. And Oscar Lindblom is hurt. Goes from uh, goes from bad to worse. Lovely. Let's. Oh uh, God. I'm tempted to call up Paling. At the same time, Ratcliffe, a Denoyer. Uh, you know what? Let's give Isaac Ratcliffe a shot. Let's give Isaac Ratcliffe a shot. We'll send down Rupsoff. And Ratcliffe will get the opportunity here. We might as well just go best lines for the moment. We'll bump up JD Greenway because he did okay the last time he got a better opportunity. Elsewhere, what's going on? And everybody else, hello. How are you tonight? Uh, I, God, I think we, we gotta, we gotta be done with the Curtis McDermott experiment in Kevin Ball. We have to be done with it. Uh, which means Yegor Zamula is probably getting the call up because it's not like Strand and Manel were overly impressive in the regular season. I mean, Manel was harmless, I guess. 
I'm gonna catch up on the BC Heartbreak. Oh, there'll be more tonight, don't worry. Yeah, Austin Strand didn't do much. Send down that trio. Call up a lefty. I guess it's gonna be Zamula. Or it's uh, Linus Hogberg. Let's call up... Uh, let's call up Zamula. We'll give him a chance. We'll give him a chance. Why not? Uh, let's go best lines again really quickly just to fix stuff up. Hmm. Can I send down York for Zamula? Okay, we just... We just can't escape that minus now, can we? Cool. Boy, we really can't escape that minus. Son of a bitch. Honestly, we might want to run Prover off away from Ellis anyway. It makes a good amount of sense. Carter Hart had an 821 save percentage in game number one. Just go best lines in the AHL. They're in the playoffs anyway. Is there any way to get rid of that crazy ass minus? Uh, Paling for Denoye, I guess. There we go. Sweet. Game two. Start Huso. Oh, I'm tempted. I am tempted. Actually, Lehigh Valley didn't make the playoffs. That's shocking. They should have been a much better team than they were. That is very disappointing. I wonder what the problem was there. We'll have to look. First period of game number two. And, oh God, Paulina, hello. <sighs> Scoreless. I mean, it would have been nice to get a goal, but what are you going to do? Second period, two to one. Ryan Ellis, Sean Couturier, Craig Smith gets one back. We actually have a lead heading into the third period. You'd love to see it. Uh, Giroux was two third round picks, I think, and Jordan Greenway to get him back. Posternock ties it at two. Another power play goal. Yanip, Pilo, what's going on, everybody? I'll let you know how things are going, depending on how this game goes. Are we going to overtime? Yes, we are. Oh, they haven't earned us watching in game yet. Let's do it. OT, game two. It's the first round. We're down one to nothing. Will we be down by two? The answer. In a moment or in the beginning stages of double overtime. Hey, Kevin Hayes. I didn't know you knew how to score goals. Look at you. JVR and Greenway with two assists. Kevin Hayes. Anyway. Anyway, uh, who wants to play the wing? Paling, Graham Clark, maybe. Let's go with Graham Clark. We got him in the deal from the Devils for Travis Sanheim. And we will give... I, I hate this game. With best lines, why would you not just put him over here? Notice how Farabee's a left wing. So Clark should probably go here. And Farabee should go there. Because Couturier can't fucking play center. This game doesn't care, does it? Oh. Oh, this game doesn't care. Boy, howdy, does this game not give a flying fuck. <sighs> there we go. We'll put Graham Clark on the fourth line. It's fine. Everything's great. We have fun here. Boy, don't we. Boy, don't we. So shout out to Graham Clark who gets into the lineup. We have a one-to-one -one series split. At the moment, I still don't understand how Lehigh Valley didn't do well. Oh, they did. They just, yeah. Yeah, barely above 500. Damn. Damn. Catcher, what's up? All right. Game number three. It's at home. Looking to have a duping good time as we dupe. Dupe, dupe, dupe. All about the dupe. I'm going to go over here because I can. 
Anyway, first period, 1-1, Pasternak, Cam York, not bad. We'll take it. Second period. <laughs> yes, I did see the news about Marashchenko, and it sucks, obviously. It's incredibly bad news, one bit after another. Oh boy, Pasternak and Taylor Hall. Goodness. Well, third period. We're down by two. On home ice. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. 4 1, Matt Grizzlick. 5 1, Charlie McAvoy. <laughs> Chiang, it's good to see you, baseball fan. Yes. When we switch to NCAA, it is a naming players' night again. We lose game three by the score of 5 to 1 on home ice. Jeremy Swayman, 35 saves. Big oof. That's a big old oof right there. Both of our losses have been by the score of 5 to 1. Uh, me thinks. Me thinks we're gonna go with uh, Vili Husso in game four. Out of pure desperation. Ivan Provorov has sucked. Brennan Manel's done nothing. Zamula's done nothing. Let's make some changes. What do we get in return for Sandheim? Two first round picks and prospects. He wasn't going to re sign with us at the end of the year. So we, we had to make uh, an unfortunate move. All right, I want two right handed shots Wyatt Wiley and Themo Nickel. Fuck it. Fuck it. We got nothing to lose by going with that for our defense. When it comes to the forwards. I mean, Clark only played four minutes and somehow ended up being a minus. Morgan Frost hasn't done much. Ratcliffe hasn't really... Yeah, Ratcliffe and Clark, I mean, super small sample size. Wade Allison has done nothing. Forster and Claude Giroux have done nothing. Cam Atkinson has done nothing. I mean, we can make the argument of swapping out different forwards, but in reality, I mean, what difference is it going to make? I can't afford to play uh, Rossi on the wing or Bobby Brink. Uh, we're probably boned. We're probably boned. Uh, let's go best lines. we got to play Farabee on that top line. However, we could play him on the right. Again, Couturier at least has two goals. We're going to go Giroux, Couturier, Farabee. Tyson Forster will play on the second line. I mean, Konechny and Lindblom are back, I just noticed. So, uh... Well, actually, in fair, you know what? They're not completely healthy, but fuck it. We're going to risk them if they get hurt. Even more so than fair be it. Because the Bruins have a 3-1 lead on the Golden Knights. You'll love to see it. Send those two down. Go best lines again. I didn't think we'd be in such a line-juggling situation. But at the same time, we've had to deal with injuries, so... Here we are, and immediately my idea of who plays on the first line is kind of out the window. Or is it? It's not, actually. So we are going to run Giroux at center between Farabee and Konechny. DeBrusque does still want out of Boston. Isn't that fun? Fuck. I can't run Giroux at center. Couturier, Farabee, Konechny, Giroux, Forster... Uh, Allison's still allowed to be played on the fourth line. We'll swap Atkinson with JVR. Lindblom gets bumped back up. There we go. It's kind of what we're dealing with. The defense. Oh boy, the defense. We'll still go York Ellis, Provorov. Vakaninen, I guess Provorov with Nickel and Vakaninen with Wiley. And again, Vili Husso will get the next start. Sure. <laughs> it's game four. Uh, we are down 2-1 to one in the series. Both losses again by a 5-1 to one deficit. In our first ever playoff adventure, we're having a fun time. 
All right, first period, 1-1. One, one. Kevin Hayes scores again. I'm going to trade Sean Couturier and make Kevin Hayes my top line option. Second period, 2-2. Two, two. Claude Giroux finally gets on the board. Carlos scored, though. Doubled them up in shots. We're tied on the scoreboard. You'll love to see it. We go to the third. Why weren't the Stadium Series jerseys at? Fuck if I know. Fuck if I know. Wade Allison makes it 3-2. to two. Bruins failed to score on a power play. Seven and a half to go. Will this be enough? Can we hold on? Can you take me high enough? You can. Wade Allison's goal stands as the winner. Beautiful. Solid performance there from Vili Husa. Solid, solid performance from Vili Husa. We tied this up at two apiece. I don't know what the hell is even happening anymore. We also avoided re-injury to anybody else. Uh, Vili Husa has got to start that next game. He has to. He has to. It is game number five back in Boston. Let's just go for it and see what the hell happens. I mean, we pretty much have no expectations for this for this playoff run, but we'll see what happens. First period, one nothing. Tyson Forster's first ever playoff goal. Second period. Riley, Marshawn, Atkinson, York, Posternock. We are tied at three. Huso's doing good despite you. You want to type that again, Pilo? You want to type that again? Third period, three goals apiece. Erho Vakanainen makes it four to three. Provorov makes it five. All of a sudden, our defensemen are scoring a lot. Five three. Power play, no goal. Four minutes left. Please, God, Ivory, thank you for the forty-one. Oh, and that's a W. Oh, unnecessary. The, the former Bruin and, and Ivan Provorov <laughs> get it done. Cam Atkinson with uh, three points now that he's been dropped down to the third line. And we are one win away from getting our asses reamed by the Florida Panthers. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no PC way to put that. Just reamed. That's the only way to describe it. Everyone's fully healthy. Vili Huso. I feel like he's won two in a row. He has to start game six at home. Can we do it? Can we pull off the upset here in round number one? First period, 1-0 Flyers, Cam York. Second period, 2-0 Flyers, Tyson Forster. We go to the third. Up by two. Power play goal for the Bruins. It's Charlie McAvoy. Power play goal for the Flyers? No. Power play goal for the Bruins? No. Power play goal for the Flyers? No. Five minutes to go. And we will hope to see the end of this. Boys, for the love of God, don't blow it. I know what I just said, so I know they probably will. But here we go. So, so close to the end of this series. It should be easy, does it? To see it through. <sighs> Can we get it done? Ellis for York. Turier, my God, that was crazy. Ellis can't hold the line. We got just over a minute to go to punch our ticket to round two. Konechny for Joel Faraby. Just tries to dangle his way through the middle and gets absolutely mauled. Foot race for the puck. Dustin Brown. Okay. I'm going to ask you right here. What's wrong with this game? What's wrong with this video game? There are four people in the middle of the ice. So what does Farabee do? 
Skates into the middle of the fucking ice! Final minute in a series clinching game, up by one! Look over there! What's that? It's space, you fucking ignoramus! Tries to be a hero. Gets absolutely destroyed by Dustin Brown, who then proceeds to essentially murder him again by winning a foot race up ice against Cam fucking York, and then Billy Huso gets shit on because you can take the blue out of St. Louis, but you can't take the St. Louis out of the former blue or whatever the fuck. He sucks. Jesus Christ. Endo and pro clubs. Exactly. Space dangles. Holy balls. Faraby, please, thank you. Claude Giroux, 30 seconds left, hits James Van Riemsdyk, who misses. 20 seconds to go, Farabee giveth, Farabee taketh. Craig Smith, scrum for it, Ellis turns it over, Mike Riley paddled away, 7 seconds. Fought on in the corner, 2 seconds, Pasternak can't hold it. And the Philadelphia Flyers are going to the second round. Because of course they are. Joel Farabee was that close to getting traded. <laughs> he still might. Claude Giroux. Leads the handshake line. Ravens are on spectator. Oh, good Ooh. for you! Yeah, I know. We're going to be changing over Huso's gear. I forgot about that. It's the only way to get them to keep their custom gear, but you got to change the equipment. It's a pain in the balls. Um, So what's that on the screen right now? Okay. Just a random, random polygon. You know, we don't ask questions. We don't ask questions. Oh, good for you! Bears, thank you. We're going to round two! Woo! Oh my god. Oh, this game. Oh, this game is so bad. It's so, so bad. We're on to round number two. We'll be taking on the Florida Panthers. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> Farabee finishes with four points because of course he does. Couturier with two, but a minus two. One point for Konechny, Jesus Christ. Uh, Giroux with three points. Three for Tyson Forrester. Five assists for JVR. And a missed empty net. Uh, Limblom with a point. Hayes with four points. <laughs> four points for Cam Atkinson. Greenway with two points, one for Morgan Frost, and one point for Wade Allison. It was a game winning goal, though. You like that? Billy Huso, a 922 save percentage, three and three. Uh, Carter Hart sucked all the ass. And the big question is do we stick with Billy Huso or do we go back to Carter Hart, much like, say, the Chicago hockey team had to do a few years ago where uh, Scott Darling took over for Corey Crawford and then Corey Crawford. <laughs> carried him the rest of the way. We'll have to make that call. But let's get the confirmation of the round two matchups. We knew we were playing Florida, which is bad. 
bad news for us. You have Washington over the... Oh, God. Yeah, you have Washington over the New York Rangers. Carolina beat New Jersey. Man, New Jersey lost in round one. Oof. Oof. And over in the Western Conference, you had Winnipeg over Minnesota, Colorado over Vancouver, Edmonton over Vegas, and the Kings beat the Ducks. Maybe if the Ducks didn't uh, didn't trade for Patrick Kane and then not scratch him, then maybe, maybe they would have won. But instead, this game sucks ass. So they did have Patrick Kane scratched, didn't they? They did. I fucking hate it here. <laughs>